I'm about to pull out the jet powered go-kart right here and do a top speed run. But first, I have to finish what I started. Before I do a top speed run with the jet engine, I wanna do a top speed run with the Kohler 10 horsepower diesel engine. I never announced this, but I have all the parts sitting here to set up a legit CVT torque converter on the turbo diesel go-kart. I genuinely think that the turbo diesel with a torque converter can hit a very impressive top speed simply because the diesel has a lot of torque and this is a torque converter. So we're taking the torque and converting it into speed. Let me get to work. All right, this thing's been sitting for quite a while. Let me see if it uh, starts right up. Oh. Wow, this thing just started right up. I don't know what it is, but something about the reliability of this engine gets me excited every time. And now that we know it starts, let me get started on mounting the CVT torque converter. I think this is gonna be awesome. pretty good and that right there is where our chain is going to run Legit, that is so legit. I'm gonna get this thing loaded up on the truck, go out to the location and uh, take your guesses as to what the top speed's gonna be. I'm not really sure, but uh, looks like this is gonna be a lot of fun to drive. I've just arrived at the location. This is the same location where I drove the original turbo diesel go-kart as well as the jet power go-kart. I'm gonna just pull this thing out of the truck, start it up and drive it and let's see what the top speed is. The way this should work is I should get a lot more power and a lower gear ratio off the line and then as the speed of the go-kart increases the torque converter is going to change the gear ratio until I hit my top speed whatever that's going to be we're about to see. All right the go-kart's out and just like last time I'm going to be using this tiny little Insta360 Go 2 camera. This is a tiny little action camera. I love it because it goes right here on my hat and it gives us the perfect POV shot and it looks absolutely amazing. So without further ado, let me get this thing started up and uh, it sounds a lot better without that centrifugal clutch. I got the GPS mounted, reset to zero, ready to rock and roll and I think this thing sounds great. All right, time to go, the engine's warmed up.
thing actually spins the tires. As you can see, this thing is making way more torque with this torque converter than the centrifugal clutch. I mean, it was literally spinning the tires doing donuts there. So what I'm gonna do just for fun, I put the go-kart up against the curb here. I'm gonna start it up and see if we could smoke these tires up just to give you an idea how much torque this thing is really making. Well, there you go. That's the power of the diesel right there. A lot of low end torque, something the jet go-kart did not have. The jet go-kart may have had the speed, but this thing definitely has the torque. And it's a little bit frustrating for me because this thing feels like it just wants to go so much faster. And I know the limiting factor is that drive gear. I don't have any more gears, else I would gear it up and do a higher top speed. If you wanna see another episode with this go-kart with different gearing, let me know and maybe I'll film that real quick but I'm probably gonna have to make that gear because I had absolutely no luck finding it online. The gear it has right now is a 10 tooth drive gear and I think I'm probably gonna need a 15 or a 20 tooth drive gear. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Next thing I need to do is mount the jet engine on this thing and then I am gonna have to go to that other street with a nice half mile or three quarter mile straight run because yeah, I think that's gonna be insane. And I'm gonna leave links to everything that I use here in the description below for the camera, the drone, the diesel engine, the turbo, the torque converter, all the parts that I use, including the adapter plate that I think I'm gonna sell on my website, which is Shop Warped Perception. It's almost done. It's got some products on there and I'm trying to organize everything there. The little action cam, the go-to action cam, and this other support plate because, I don't know, maybe somebody wants to adapt a diesel engine to a go-kart or a motorcycle or something like that and use a torque converter because those are parts that I had to make and I could not find them online. That being said, hopefully you enjoyed this episode with the turbo diesel go-kart with the CVT. Tell me what you think in the comments below. That's about it. Until the next one, adios.